tonight for Otman Azaitar and Tamu Pakalen. Azaitar 29, Pakalen is 32. You see the discrepancy in height. Finland's Pakalen with a four and a half inch reach advantage tonight. All right, now for the introductions back inside of Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the arena in Yaz Island, Abu Dhabi, for UFC 242, Habib versus Poirier. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Eight wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, Chemu Paku Pakala. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. 11 wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting! And a robot Morocco, Osman Bulldozer Azetar. And then the action begins. On that three inch on, Peter Hickmott. Peter Hickmott back in there for his second assignment of the night. The beautiful Carly Baker is with us here in Abu Dhabi. As the highly touted Otman Azaitar makes his UFC debut against Tamu Pakalen. Azaitar is in black, Pakalen is in gray. Pakalen initially drawn to wrestling and submission fighting, so certainly built his foundation with the ground game, but has really developed his striking in the time away from the octagon. No surprise to see Azaitar opening up early. We see Pakalin throwing that jab out right away, and that's how you close the distance as the shorter fighter is. As the jab gets thrown, you fire a right hand over the top, and that's what we're seeing right away. There oh, it is, and beautiful it lands. counter right from Azaitar. Toyo tires, the official tire of the UFC. We see Otman going to the body early. Leg attacks, start beating up the body, the hands start to drop, sets up the big head shots as the fight moves on. As we saw earlier in the matchup with Salikov. A lot of feints out of the Zaitar as he attacks that lead leg of Pakalen. Oh, a huge right hand. Pakalen able to eat it. Ooh. Big shots landed when Pakalen tries to grapple and get a hold of that clinch. I mean, he's eating huge shots in that clinch. Couple of nice knees there on the inside by Pakalen. Ate another big strike there from the bulldozer. Pakalen's hurt. He's hitting him with some huge shots. He looks like oh. this is the other one. He keeps his pace up. And he throws a heavy pace in this first round. Um, brief moment in the clinch. And now we get some separation, about three minutes here to go. Round one, it has been all Ackman and Zaitar thus far. And even when the guard is up, part of that right hand is finding the target. And when you're wearing four ounce gloves, you don't even want to eat them on your arms, really. Yeah. Still gets through, shakes your head, and it sets up the next shot. Going to the body, and again, going to that clinch ends up getting him caught with big punches. Every time he goes to that clinch, Hopman just starts firing hooks and body shots, and Pakman just keeps to see, seems to keep eating them. Pakalen plus 170 as an underdog tonight. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. You know he's going to welcome a fight on the ground tonight if he can get it there. As Zaitar playing to the crowd here in Abu Dhabi. He's really comfortable. He's been able to land what he wants so far, so that makes you really comfortable knowing, all right, I can hit this guy. He's not making me miss. I've got his timing. I've got his range. And really, he's not doing anything to me yet. He hasn't been able to get the takedown, and every time he tries his offensive and the striking, being Pakalin, hasn't worked. So... Hotman's very comfortable right now. Big right hand, he goes to the body first, sets up the overhand right, and that's the key as a short guy, that's what you want to do, is set up that, that overhand right with the straight 
uh, with the straight offense, Paku. Pakalan as yet unable to take a Zaitar down, failed on that most recent attempt. A lot of headshots already have landed for Otman and Zaitar. Oh! oh face first! Wow. Wow. Such a huge right hand, and he is out bad. That was one of the biggest right hands of the night, and that's the one. That's the one you gotta look for following that jab. He kept sticking that jab out there, and you just gotta time the right hand, and Ottman finally landed it. Incredible timing. That is one of the scariest knockouts you will ever see. Pakalen was twitching on the canvas, and the medics are attending to the fallen Finn. How about this right hand? Waits, he throws a, throws an upper jab. It's like a, Pakalen was looking for an uppercut jab, and you know, all Ottman did was time it. There it is. Boom, right behind the ear. Take a listen to this, guys. And when you hit, get hit in the back of the ear, it's, it's like the worst spot you can get hit. That's yeah. where the equilibrium is off the worst, and he just hit him in the money position right there, right behind. Location, location, location. Otman Azaitar found it tonight. Good to see Tamu Pakalen sitting up now, but a huge UFC debut for the Bulldozer. We'll talk to him after this. Tell you ride. Built to make each trip. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Peter Hickmott has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Otman Bulldozer Azaitar! Morocco, King Mohammed VI.